Girl, I think I'm not getting no tease. I'm not joking. All my guys, them, them love me. Since 06, I've been writing this story. And every day. Hi, guys. This video is starting off with myself and my mom preparing to go to Westminster. So Westminster is a market where they sell gadgets, electronics and household items. So I wanted to buy a rechargeable blender because I resolved to not taking soda anymore. I don't want to drink sugar. I don't want to drink sugar again. That is why I said, okay, let me just buy this blender that I can carry about so that whenever I feel thirsty, instead of buying Coco Fanta or whatever, I will just buy fruit, put it in my blender and blend and drink. That's the most healthy thing to do. I want to live long. <laughs> so while I was also shopping, I saw some other things I did not plan to buy. This um, fancy glass cup. But out of peer pressure, I bought one just because I see a lot of people use it when they um, blend their smoothies, they put it inside and drink. They didn't think I needed it because I'm not always at home, so I can't be taking this about. That's why I wanted to buy a portable size blender. So I bought it and then decided to take a tour around the market. So I've been able to successfully buy what brought me here the major thing that brought me here was a, a rechargeable blender and i've been able to get one i hope you guys can hear me so grandma is about to buy some things as you can see she's buying some things so me i'm just going to be accompanying her while she gets the other things that she wants but as for me but as for me i am done so let's just go follow grandma about while i do sightseeing and take you guys along so this is westminster and they're about closing that's why places are not open they're about closing and they move from the other side that they used to be to this place so this is like a new place for them and we are in this one shop don't worry about it. and we are in this one shop that sells things and she allowed us to make a video in our stand so yeah that's why i'm here making my video on apologetically as you can see but yeah let's just look for grandma and we so while taking a tour around the market, I saw this diffuser which looked lovely. It has a perfume inside that you can use. So voila, I got home and decided to test my blender after charging it. And if this blender could talk by now, it would have been screaming, Jenny, please save me, stop shaking me. All I needed to do was put water into my banana smoothie because it was too thick so the blades were not turning. But because I put a little water, which I didn't want to use, I wanted to use milk, but it wasn't available at the moment. So I just decided to put water. And yeah! Fast forward to a few days later, a night I went out and was looking ravishing. Oh my goodness. I was just feeling myself. I was the most beautiful girl ever on earth. <laughs> I need to go and contest for MBGM because I'm going to win. So this is, this was my last night in Lagos where I went out, did my makeup. Oh, but then it was my last night and I wish it wasn't because I was feeling Lagos vibes. I didn't want to leave. Ha! It's not as if, eh? You know when you, you, you go to a new city and then you do less things, you are just living life, spending money, that spending money on it's painful, but then you are enjoying yourself, you know, you are happy, there's no much stress, that's like, I wish I was not going to go back to you again, oh. but no, I need that too because I have to come and prepare for CK Love Story your chief your one let me put one and only chief bridesmaid nobody can drag that position for me so i needed to come back and also go to school go to work hey that's why i was like why am i going back to you i'm going back to you to go on um, stress but then in lagos no stress well that's because i came from vacation because if i was staying in lagos and maybe i came to Uyo, 
I would have said the same thing I'm talking about Lagos to Uyo. But because I live in Uyo and I work and do everything in Uyo, so when you go to another city, you don't have anything to do. So this was my last night. I packed this night. I made sure all my things were put in place. I met with some friends. We had fun. We played some games. We did each other farewell. See you again when I come back. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, that was it. The next day, I started my travel journey to Rio from Lagos. So this was me at 4:45 a.m. This is Lagos at 4.45 a.m. Why are there cars on the road at 4.45 a.m.? In some cities at 4.45 a.m. there's no one outside. But then because it's Lagos, you have to beat traffic. And my flight was for 7 a.m. So I needed to hurry. I needed to, if I could, I needed to fly to the airport. The airport was like an hour and 30 minutes drive. Well, I got there successfully earlier also to the departure area. I checked in, gave them my ticket, gave them my ID card. They checked whatever they wanted to check. They searched me. And then after that, I had to sit and wait until it was time to board the flight. So it was not time to go but the flight but then because this airport is a very big airport you don't just come out from the um the boarding gate and then just enter the flight you have to go meet the flight well it depends on where the particular flight is parked so we had to take this bus that was free we didn't pay anything and then went to um went to meet the flight where it was parked so this is the second time i'll be boarding a flight from lagos and this is the same thing that happened so I guess it's where the plane is packed so you just go to meet it if it happens to be that the plane was packed at where you just come out from the boarding gate and enter voila so yeah i got to the airplane where it was parked we checked in again you show the house that's your ticket and then she'll show you your seat but if you know you just have to walk straight to your seat and then sit down so i was given a d which was supposed to be by a window but then when I got to the seat, to my seat, there was a little child, like a little girl. Not so little, like maybe like Helen's height. I don't know about the age. I'm just maybe eight or nine years old. She was seated on my seat. So because she was a baby, just left her. I didn't want to tell her to stand up. Hi. So I met this guy that you guys saw saying hello and hi and his name. And when he saw me filming, he was like, Is this your first time? Ha! So that means anybody that enters plane and carry a phone to take a picture is the first time. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know why people think that when you get when you go to a place and then you take pictures, that means that that is your first time. Even if it is your first time, well, there's some people that it might be their first time. But how about you just want to take pictures and keep for memories, even if you've been there for like ten times or twenty times or three times. Uh -uh. So people think that when you go to a place or when they see you in a place and then you are taking pictures, that means that is your first time. Wow, I didn't know that. Well, I told him, no, this is not my first time. I just decided to make videos. And uh, yeah, he said, okay, he wants to enter. And he was like, hello, hi, and all. But later on, a few minutes into the flight, I was already, already tired. I was feeling sleepy because I didn't sleep really well at night. I was feeling sleepy. 
But who am I to sleep? I held my eyes. I opened it, shine it, use my hand, use cello tape, use everything to hold it so that I will not sleep. Oh. <laughs> Well, after everything, we landed safely. Glory be to the Father. There was no much turbulence this time around compared to when we were leaving. But praise be to the Father, I got home safely. Just now, 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 I came back. Kenzie is using my skincare. Ah! Why? Why me? Why now? <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to Guess Jenna's channel. If you're new here, you're welcome as usual. If you're not new, you're also welcome. So, um, I touched down for you yesterday. And <laughs> I thought that we had a touchdown. <laughs> so Kenzie came around with our bride to be. I was so to be Mrs. Mmm. Wait, Lori. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> so Kenzie is leaving today. Yeah. She came back to Oweri. So I'm going to see her off to like. So, you're not seeing me, I forgot. You are going to work. Uh -uh. I mean, I'm going to see you. Oh, you're not seeing me, you're going to be going to be going to But we're going, going, going to the same road now, the okay. same area. Okay. So that's basically what we want to do now. We just finished having our breakfast. And that's it. So, yeah, let's go. First of all, uh -uh, how will you just go like that? Let me ask you, how is the wedding preparation going? It's going fine, it's going well, it's going positive by the grace of God and everything is on point, so that's it. Do you have any challenges? Challenges is there, are there. I think the only challenges are just um, being sure that the people or the vendors I want to use can actually deliver. That's the only challenge I'm having in my head. I just want to be, I just want to hope that they are going to give me what I want 100%. But hope you did not tell them the real date. Like, uh, apart from the decorator and what you get. The dress, sorry, the dress. Hope you did not tell them the real date. Oh. No, ah. the dress are already almost ready. The mm. dress, I have to even collect it like three weeks before mm. that time. So, no, that's if you collect it three weeks too. You not keep it in your side though, where you receive it. So trust him. I not like it later again. Which kind of thing? And now, when you are looking at something for every day, every day, you not like it. not be fine again. Mm -hmm. In your so, eyes, though, it will still be fine. But it's just like in your eyes, so it might not be fine I again. Know. Wow. Okay, I'll keep it away. <laughs> yeah, you keep it away so that. See, it's one second. I'm not sure if this thing they work. So we are going out right now. We'll yeah. See you guys later. Grandma went out. Nobody's around. Yeah, nobody's around. Yeah. It's just us. Hmm. Okay. Mm.